What is up you guys and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Death Scarander. And today I got ourselves um Wi-Fi battle against Sal and Revision friend really. And it's live commentated, so the commentates from this side is to the minimum and uh, I just wanna say basically enjoy. And other than that, two videos tomorrow, so stay tuned to that and let's Pixels against him too, but it seems like first turns it makes it or breaks it for the both of us, so I'm <laughs> actually, each time I'm battling him, I'm just <laughs> a little on edge <laughs> because after like 3 4 turns in, you kinda know if that have happened or not. Muggy B! <laughs> yes! Awesome! And we've got Wigglytuff, Sneasel, Tyrant, uh, Electabuzz, and Meganium. Meganium is actually really cool! Or rather, I should say, Meganium is a very, very good Pokemon overall. Hmm. This could get, like, rough real fast, if I'm unlucky here. Uh, kinda see my Tropius being somewhat of a waste this battle. He seems to get a rough time here. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, one battle you need to check out if you like that hacked battle is uh, Verdolet on uh, YouTube. Um, I have him on my Twitter account. Basically this guy is... Um, to be very very honest here, he almost beat a hacked team with Contradict, um, Larios and stuff like that. It was an incredible game to watch. So make sure you see that guys. I'll, or if somebody could post it here, that would actually be real nice. Um, let's see here. What can Electivire really do? You could Volt Switch the best. I pretty much forgotten his team at this point. I'm. <laughs> Is it safe for me to go for an EQ? Don't think so. I'm gonna go for a sucker punch because I know with a Volt Switch, I better get some damage on this guy. That did roughly half. That that is perfect. I'm Groot. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Hmm. Yeah, awesome, Stardasher, awesome. Flushy. Oh my god. I'm expecting, like, uh, you know, like some weird stuff. Like, <laughs> uh, he could be baiting me, I'm pretty sure about that. Meganium is so cool too. I actually had a set, you know, EQ and the Seed Bomb, I think it was, with Sword Stars. Awesome poke. So there is the Energy Ball, and I will wall the shit out of that. That was an understatement. Um, that was definitely an understatement. I can't seriously, you know, remember his team at this point. I feel really weird. Um, I know, I, I remember Magby <laughs> and Sneasel and Meganium Tittuck Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, solid name, solid. <laughs> oh, a great name to give it. <laughs> um, yeah. Guys, when you have the time, check out that battle that Stardash posted there. It is one of the best battles I think I ever watched, to be honest. Uh, at least it is, you know, that top 5 range, for sure. So, the king is coming in. Let's see what he actually goes for here. Fleblitz. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm gonna roost my, my sea king. Ah, oh, that did way over half, too. Oh shit. Um, help? He's gonna go for another Flare Blitz here, there's no doubt about it. And I have nothing to... Um, I have really nothing to take that. Oh, he switched out, alright. 
to Reptar. Hmm, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad either. Uh, hmm. What can I really do here? Yes, perfect. Don't be sashed. Yes! Such luck to be honest, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just lucky. So, let's see, there is the... Um, oh my god. These names are so great on so many levels. <laughs> I can't really stress that enough. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what a um, what a Wigglytuff does. I've seen a salt vest Wigglytuff with Rain Punch, but that's about it. Um, yes, <laughs> I was fearing that. <laughs> oh yeah, it was such a perfect way to end this. I do expect him to switch out his Meganium, so let's see if I'm right here. So far, so good. Don't miss. Yes. Perfect prediction. And a crit. That, that is so fair. That is so fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sal, I really am. Let's see if I can take an energy ball here. Hmm. That is actually it. It sucks so bad that he got a, that I got a crit there. It really does because I don't think it is in a two hit KO range, and I'm not entirely sure I can take an energy ball. I'm <laughs> really not. That we need more goldfish action. We really do. Hmm. Since oh nice, trying to wall me out, huh? Not a bad decision at all, to be honest, because I am very capable of missing. I do put him in around same range, but in the long run, I really don't see myself being able to win here. I do have the um, superior PPO, but I can't miss. I do. Uh, are we in a speed tie? No. <laughs> Hello, Owen. Or Sir Higgins. Thank you for joining. Glad to see you, sir. <laughs> you. Oh, you might have gone for um, for Dragon Tail. All right. That seems actually very likely. Ah, uh, yeah, more goldfish action. At least we got we got one kill with the goldfish, so that, that's nice. TikTok Junior's in is gonna go for um, another flare blitz, I guess. Or I can screw myself over, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. I am playing very predictable right now. I already feel that in my soul. I should stop doing what I'm doing right now. Let's see here. Yeah, I am obviously too predictable here, and that is a very nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, but that is actually kind of fine. I mean, looking back at it, um, it's definitely fair considering the crit uh, that I that I got there. Oh, and I switch out. Nice. So Kettle Death is back in. Hmm. Kettle Death. <laughs> He's gonna go from. He can set up with charge beams, and that's gonna be very, very frustrating in the long run. So I really need to replay my cards right here. He could also go for Dazzling Gleam. Um, seems very real at this point. 
charge beam, alright. So I can wall that out, but as far as his attack boost, it's it's not gonna look pretty in the long run. And I'm definitely feeling it. Uh, two can play that game. Let's see here. He just switched out to Electa Fist. Do I get motor drive? It doesn't get motor drive, alright. Still, nevertheless, not a bad prediction actually. Um, not bad at all. This could wear Focus Blast, I think. There it is, and it does hit. How much will it do though? It did fair, it did fair damage. Ooh, and I am not able to take it out, so that is genuinely like frustrated. Come on, miss the second one. Because with my heat more. Um, with my heat more basically paralyzed, I don't see how I'm going to be able to outspeed this guy. So right, he does the right prediction there. I think I would definitely have done the same. But gonna hate me now because I did go for the Giga Drain. Nom 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 nom, and it does nothing. What is this? Of course, it does something considered the given circumstances of the Pokemon itself being. Um, <laughs> made of HP uh, but man right that is kind of frustrating and I'm do I am able to outspeed that is kind of cool I guess so he goes for charge beam and that's kind of nice Ooh. so he's gonna bet it all on this next um, this next dazzling limb if I didn't have flash cannon, <laughs> mind blown. I think yes, we got this. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> hmm. But really, the only thing that makes this work for me is that. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to be really honest here. It's not that um, his team is weak. It is that my team is. He got the coverage that I think he's missing. Um, so that's kind of why I do can kind of prevail here. All right, he goes for Swoot Stance. He just outspeed. speed. I did expect him to be Focus Sash. I went for Giga Drain instead, and then try to finish him off. So I have as much HP as possible. Because I don't know how much and uh, how much um, I can't really expect that. Uh, I have no idea how badly uh, knockoff will do from this range. Let's find out. Oh, I can't watch. Ah, oh, <laughs> nice. All right, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it is not a six zero. It is life orb. All right, I should definitely go for flash cannon. That is just some salt right there. Uh, you're right, Star Asher. You're definitely right. This charge will have done better in the long run. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. Very nice to get a crit in that range too. I am definitely sure that um, the knockoff would have done enough for me to be able to switch out next turn if that were the case. But then the crit just actually feels somewhat fair considering how the game has been built to right up on this point to be honest. So alright, I don't think you have the means to um, stop me now. So don't stop me now because we're having such a good time. Don't stop me now. 
I'm getting too, too damn, too damn um, arrogant at this point. But really, this is basically how our games looks like. I'm gonna go against Sal. Sal is like one of those guys that he can outclass me and get a six against me, and I pretty much can do the same to him. And it's it's basically the luck from this point, and I think that that is kind of what makes it. <laughs> so it's. it's I'm always stressed going against Sal, and uh, the reason I win this time is because I think my typing was tougher for him than it was against me. I really believe in that. <laughs> well, she, Sal, she go with the, like the Jesus. Um, I get two crits, extreme speed in a row. What are the odds? All right, uh, <laughs> just wanted it out there. Um, but you go with the Jesus explanation of why he losses. Like, <laughs> I would definitely appreciate that. <laughs> right, let's see if the other guy there has been coming back. And also, Sal's GG, really. Um, 